In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to play that one project. This is definitely a more beginner's guide to help those of you that's new. So if you guys watch the entire video at the end of this video, you guys will have a much better understanding based on how to play that one project. And the main reason why I decided to create this video when I first played that one project, there were lots of things that were new to me and I wasn't sure exactly how everything works. So hopefully I can help those of you that's new and help you guys understand how to play that one project. So with that being said, let's jump right into the video. First of all, you guys can see that there's three options to choose from. So there's the solo mode, duos and the director. Playing as the director is a lot of fun, I will say. Once you guys have a mic, you can interact with players, decide on which zones you want to close and stuff like that. But besides, I'll be jumping into a solo game mode to show you guys how to play. So before the game begins, you guys will be taken to a lobby where you guys will have to wait for players. In the lobby, you guys can feel free to practice before the game actually starts and this way you guys will understand most of the controls and you guys will have a much better understanding of the controls before the game actually starts okay so once the game starts you guys will spawn randomly on the map and the very first thing you guys want to do is to acquire loot cutting down trees allows you guys to get the wood and bear in mind there's only one type of trees you guys can cut down it's very easy to identify if you guys look closely you guys will see that there's actually a blue out outline around a tree so it's very easy to identify you guys will also see these couch around the map these allows you guys to get leather and the number of wood and leather you have will be indicated on these icons so right now you guys can see that I only have one leather and two wood in the game most of these houses actually has maps so you guys can see that these maps can actually show the exact locations of enemies so you guys can see that the green one is me and the other two that that's blue will be the actual locations of enemies there's also these icons on the left side of the screen so this icon indicates the amount of players that's in the game including me so right now there's only two enemies on air basically keeps track of the game time and the skull icon indicates the amount of kills you have and also this icon basically shows the amount of arrows you have also you guys will see that there's some bars next to these icons so the orange bar shows your health the blue one shows your body temperature and the white one shows your stamina. The map itself is separated out into seven zones in the shape of hexagons and at any point in time during the game one of these zones can actually close. So right now you guys can see that this zone is closing in a few seconds. Once that zone closes if there's anyone inside of that zone their body temperature is going to drop really really fast. So you really don't want to be inside a zone that's going to close. If the zone is going to close and you're inside a zone you want to get into another zone so it's really that simple also there's lots of blue chests around the maps and these are called loot chests which can give you guys random items such as leather arrows and stuff like that and if you guys are wondering what's these things well the first three will be your tools the next three will be your electronic powers and basically the last three will be your boosts you can also easily craft items using your resources such as wood and leather so let's say you want to craft a trip wire this requires one wood and one leather and also if you want to unlock your electronic powers however you guys will need to use an electronic there's electronics located around the map and you can only use an electronic only if it's activated once an electronic is activated everyone in game will be notified so you want to keep that in mind since most of the times everyone tends to rush towards it and there's going to be lots of players towards that electronic so you want to keep in mind that everyone will be notified whenever an electronic is activated now you guys will see that my body temperature is getting very low and it's getting cold so to increase your body temperature you guys want to simply craft a fire which requires only one wood and you guys want to basically stick around the fire until your body temperature returns to normal also if you guys don't know what these small white dots on the map is these are called force fields which allows you guys to teleport to another zone so it's very helpful and useful as you guys can see and you want to use this to your advantage if you want to get to another zone much quicker so that's basically it if you guys have any questions feel free to ask in the comments down below and if there's anything you guys need help with feel free to leave a comment down below and who knows I might make a video based on that so I want to thank you guys so much for watching if you guys want to see 
more Darwin project videos and stuff like that be sure to subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you guys will be notified whenever I upload a brand new video so once again thank you guys so much for watching be sure to leave a like if this video was helpful and I'll see you guys in my next video peace out